Let's go find my nerds. Third series of the night. We'll get some different lights. See how those look. And a. Call me when Villarreal gets good. Probably gonna take a while, mate. Thank you to Basilisk for giving us 10 more subs for our previous best of five. So far, guys, a pretty perfect night. A 3 to 2 and a 3 to 2. I'm in the wrong channel. I literally need to join my own channel. Akron is here and Cham is here. Hi, guys. Let's do it. Sorry I'm late, but blame Rainer. <laughs> It's Rainer's fault. It is on Rainer. After Villa boot Byron the other night, who is better? Aston Villa or Feyenoord? Mate, we would wipe the floor with you guys. I hope you guys make the playoffs. I know it's going to be hard for Aston Villa, but I believe there is a tiny chance that you guys can finish in the top 24. And maybe Aston Villa will play Feyenoord in the next phase of the Champions League. And then you guys will finally be put in your place. Mm hmm. Uh, you guys vetoed? Uh -huh. Would be a banger of a uh, round of 24 match. You should be scared. I am not scared, mate. I'm scared for Aston Villa not making top 24, but I'm not scared for Feyenoord. We are winning, baby. We're so back. Winning Girona away. Whoop, whoop. He loves this. <laughs> uh, Aston Villa seems good. Especially at home, you guys are obviously very good. Thank you, Andy. A thousand more bits. We are flying, guys. We are absolutely flying in the bit department. Have Cham and Akron ever played before? I didn't check. I'll leak it like. I can take a little look at it. Uh, go, go. And Pi will host for you guys. Central, by the way. We do NA, NA, Europe, NA, NA. I think that's the most fair. Let's take a look, mate. While they are currently doing their vetoes, and we obviously have one more best of five later between Shameless and Mixu. Aquaron. Chem. I'm sure they have played, but probably not very often. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's very even. Eight and eight in maps, three and three in series. Wow, they actually only ever played in 2020. That's kind of odd, no? <laughs> for some reason, they played six times in 2020. Must have been a great year, guys, for TVCs. <laughs> One time, Akron played random. Cham played random as well. And then 4-3, to three, maybe it was an all-random tournament. Well, so it seems very even between these two. Is this the one that uh, Akron won? No, right? Did Akron win number eight? Where's ESL Open Cups? Yeah, overview. Akron won one very early. Yeah, a seven. He won number seven. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the one that Akron won. The one day that the Monday night belonged to Akron. That's kind of cool. Fun fact, guys. Perhaps the proudest achievement that Akron has in StarCraft 2 winning a European Pro Tour weekly on the Monday night. And it may not seem like a big deal, but. Winning those turned out to be incredibly difficult. Even after 240 editions, we only had like 15 or 20 people winning one of them. So that's pretty sick. He starts right now, little Twitch. You're back, mate. You've been very impatient about this one. If you guys are confused ever about the series or the order of games, exclamation mark B links you to the liquipedia page and here you guys can just see it this is our first match this is our second match now we hop into uh Aquaron versus champ main event is obviously the final match of the night and the one for the highest amount of prize money this one is for 125 buckies this one is for 200 in total roddy when is the patch coming Deffy, i've always been nice to you if you can do me a big favor and don't spell my name with mn that'd be awesome i don't know when the patch is coming I expect it to probably take a little while longer. I'm also waiting for it. Just like many of you guys. Taking it a little bit easier right now. I'm excited for the new patch. I'm excited for the new map pool. I don't know when it comes. I think it will probably uh, be at least another month. Give or take. 
Yeah. L a little triggering there by Daffy. I guess Daffy really does not want to play in the big brain bots. Eh? <laughs> uh, I'm very upset right now, guys. I'm very angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Akron is ready. Chem, go, go. Big shout out, by the way, guys, to my man Pi, who's been helping out hosting today. All these Polish nerds are so kind in helping out eh, on the Friday night. I like it as well, Lethal. Like, I did not change this because I thought it was going to look better. I thought it would just function a bit better. So, uh, you know, Vicky can actually go to the kitchen, she can make food, and she doesn't have to worry about being on camera. And it turned out that my lighting is just so much better from this side than it was from the other. I'm very happy. I promised some different lighting, by the way, for this series. So. Let's see which one we got. Let's go for... The EPT. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Magnificent. Third series of the night. Big Rain Bouts, Friday night, a Starcraft night. Let's do it. Let's get it on. Round one. Fight. Top right side. The man who got a nice W in the big rainbow two weeks ago. He is here. He asked me if he could play every single Friday until he loses. That's not quite how it works. But I will gladly invite him at least one more time on short notice. Because I like this guy. He's been around for so long. And the veterans deserve love too. This is Jem. A Mexican Zergi. <laughs> nice, uh... Decal. Easy money. Will it be easy money tonight, guys? Against this man, our Spanish Terran with an absolute banging best of five a while ago against Eva with that legendary game five where him and Eva decided to go random versus random. And worst case scenario took place. Eva got his main race with Zerk. Aquaron, who is a great Terran and a good Protoss, got his worst race, his Zerk. And he won! He won the ZVZ with a greedy mirror build. That was an incredibly fun Friday, a memorable one. This is Aquaron. Yeah, definitely does not says moan, mate. Well, okay, it says moan, but not that moan. Behave. It's still early, isn't it? Who does Aston Villa play this weekend, Lethal? Who do you guys got in the Premier League? <laughs> Feyenoord has got a very, very tough uh, schedule in the upcoming. And my chair is there. Keeps bumping into my desk. I don't know what I've done that's so different. But I already moved my armrest back a little bit. Maybe I need to move it back even a bit further. Apparently changed my angle a little. Not aware of it. This match got 50 50 split in prediction. I'm very curious about the main event voting. I know I've got a couple diehard Mixu fans that will tune in whenever he plays. But I've given Shameless a lot of love and a lot of praise on this stream. Like Loki, just a, a great match. I think for a Friday night, really cool to see two players like Mixu and Shameless play for 150 buckies for the win. 200 in total, I think it's gonna be really cool. That has been the one that I've been looking forward to the most. Aquaron going for a bit of a feisty build here. We don't have a starport. Instead we're building two more barracks in the bottom left side. Aston Villa versus United. I mean everybody beats United these days, no? <laughs> I would have said that was a very difficult match many years ago. And now that doesn't seem to be that difficult. Jim taking the third in the center of the map with the rich Vespian guys. This Akron is gonna go Reaper Hellions. In Deutsch. Deutsch is my old home. I used to live at a street called Reichsplatz or something. Reichsplatz in Swansig, together with Ben. First with the English Ben and then with the American Ben. Very close to the Len Access Arena in Cologne. Great times. I really have uh, great memories of my time in Cologne. Mm -hmm. 
was a lot of fun. So guys, what is Akron cooking here? Are we just sending it? Uh, like, Marine Hellion? Marine Hellion? Are we gonna drop an armory? Go for a Hellbat? Shem is the kind of Zerg that can be very greedy. Sometimes to a fault. Akron is not even really building any SCVs, hey guys. Look at the production tab. He's only at 30 SCVs. Our man from Spain often comes in with a plan. Is he a good player? Can he play standard? Yes. But Akron always loves to go for a different approach. Sometimes I read on Reddit that we miss the old school timing attacks and proper strategy and right now it's all about execution. There are different players and Akron is one of these guys that still is a bit different. It is safe to say that he is Omega all in. I mean we could drop a uh, Sabbath's third command center but I don't think that's gonna do a lot for us. This is about as committed as anything could be. And if Chem builds nothing but roaches now, maybe. But he's actually dropping double Evo and he's on 60 drones. Let's just go ahead and follow Chem's camera for a bit. I mean, Chem is obviously at the point already where he's going to start building units. Akron is now even building a starport, which I think is very confusing. We, we're going to have to go before that, no? We absolutely have to go before it. Here come the Marines, here come the Marauders, the Hellions morph into Hellbats. And Cham needs to run and buy time. This is gonna hit hard, man. Stim is done. Combat shield is done. <laughs> I like what Cham is doing here, evacuating the base. Akron should go. Vamos. Vamos, vamos. Arriba. I don't know how you say full send in Spanish, but that's what we need here. We need an absolute full send, and this is the full send. The Marines, Marauders, and Hellbats get on top of Queens, Roaches, and Drones. And Akron with an old school timing attack, an old school all in. I want to say should get the job done here, but obviously a lot of roaches are coming from different angles. Not too many Marines and Marauders remaining, but I think it's enough. I want to say I think it is enough as Chem is just running out of firepower. And his roaches, they spawn one by one. They come in from different angles. I mean, he was okay losing some drones. Losing 14 drones is obviously a little bit more than some. Reinforcements are getting picked off in the center of the map, so that's kind of cool. But now Akron is gonna find his fully saturated mineral line once more. More drones will fall, two roaches, not enough. Few more roaches together with the drones, barely enough. Seven minutes in, 65 supply against 59. We have dropped the third uh, 7S command center. We are gaming. We are gaming. I do always favor a Terran. In a situation like this, Terran is gonna have a much easier time dropping meals, transitioning, making a bit of a game out of this. And meanwhile, Cham, I mean, what can Cham do? Cham can only really build roaches, but he just doesn't have enough. He's got 1-1. One, one. How's Cham up in population? The roaches. <laughs> roaches are cheap, and they take up a lot of supply. But Cham is not winning this game. No. I mean, not right now. I'm not saying that it's impossible for Cham to win, even though I think it is incredibly unlikely. But at the moment, this does not look like it's a victory for Cham. I think Aquaron is in an incredibly good spot. The upgrades are the only thing that Cham really has going for himself, but he's going to have an immobile army. He's going to have such a hard time defending against drops. And then he's about to lose a few more drones. Aquaron, he may be down in supply. And he is now clicking on that lair. I don't think we're gonna get the lair. I don't think we're gonna get the roaches here either, so. Chem is gearing up for his own all-in. Says, all right, if I'm not allowed to macro, <laughs> if you don't just wanna sit back and play the late game here, I'll be the one sending it. Akron does need to be careful that he doesn't have too much supply out on the map. If we have two full medivacs in the top left and we have two full medivacs on the right side, our tanks could be very, very vulnerable at home. Now this is, I mean, obviously Cham guys is gonna lose so much. He's gonna lose drones, he's gonna lose bases. But I almost wanna say, this doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is this army. This is the army that Cham is gonna try to win the game with. And he does have 1-1. One, one, and those tanks that I mentioned are indeed very naked. Akron has one more tank on the high ground and that tank is putting in some work, baby. These shots are fat, juicy, magnificent. In the end, the tank will fall. 22 SUVs have fallen. 
Oh, the medevacs and bio are so freaking good. I want to say I still think this is Akron in the end. Chem knows it. Good little effort there. Akron, guys, with an old school. Very weird, very deceiving build. Takes the 1 0 lead. But look at this graph. The doctors actually declared him death. <laughs> From minute uh, 4, guys, all the way up to minute 7, there were no signs of life on the side of Akron. <laughs> but back then, it's like, wait, there is a pulse. <laughs> well done. Very unique build, very weird. Early GG, no, not at all. The man has uh, five roaches, two drones, and uh, a couple zerglings. So no, that was not an early GG. He was very dead. Mm. It's the pie play, roaches. Two years of listening to this bully, but God forbid I make a reference to something that happened a couple of days ago. What happened a couple of days ago? And what did you refer to? Gem's ready. Akron's ready. Game 2 is on Elisayoni. The Vindicta snipe? From air? Or... What is it? What, what am I missing? What's the story? <laughs> that air debate in my Deadlock channel was actually... Uh, that was a banger. <laughs> I loved it. Reina's Discord got a bit feisty as well, huh? Sweet baby Jesus. These days, guys, Twitch is mild, but Discord, the gloves are rough. <laughs> Round two, fight! Bottom left side of El Cyany. We are looking at the main base of our Mexican Zerg, who got a strong win a couple weeks ago in the big brain bouts. He wanted more, I gave him more. But he got tricked by his opponent in game one. Overdrawn a little, wasn't quite ready for that Omega all in. This is Gem. The great decal, the easy money. I'll take Vindicta as a cutie. If we're talking about mix, as in Vindicta from San Diego, I absolutely agree. If we're talking about Vindicta and Deadlock, no. I hate that hero. The hero actually scares me. I cannot stand it. Top right side of El Cyany. We're looking at the main base of our Spanish Terran player. I'm an old member of Team Roddy. I don't know if he's still on Platinum Heroes. Because I know a lot of people left the Platinum Heroes over the last few days. This is Aquaron. I could feel the frustration and the pain slowly. Ay ay ay. I missed it, but then I went back and I read it and I was like, Ay caramba! What is happening over here? It's like me opening the door to the living room and there's fire everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But I don't know this Vindicta story, uh, bye. Unless you're just talking about the air snipe. I don't think it was that bad, right? I mean, air got a little annoyed at you, but... Or uh, at Bully, or anyone. <laughs> Is there more to it? Because I just thought it was the tiny discussion with the screenshot. Or is there really all out war? Do I only know half of it? <laughs> There's nothing more arcing. It was fun. I enjoyed it. But Bully today said I can't let things go. Bully probably's got a point. I think Bully's a pretty reasonable guy. <laughs> Oh, the nerds getting feisty with each other. I love it. I absolutely love it. Two wrecks opening on the side of Akron. With a third a Reaper on the way, there is an Overlord idling above these barracks. Obviously, there's one on the top side of the map. At least your uh, add-ons are exposed. Or protected, rather. If you spawn in the bottom left, they would be exposed. Chem does not have Zergling speed, guys. Losing a queen is problematic, and Chem does lose the queen. Now, Akron loses a Reaper, so both players making a tiny micro error. I'd almost say that losing the Reaper there is a bit more unfortunate. Akron really wants to get the second queen. Akron gets the second queen, loses the second Reaper. Still say that's a trade, obviously, as a Terran. You gladly take, right? Any day of the week. 
Can't wait to go back to discussing the 158 reasons why X new map sucks. I saw that Twitter was getting a little bit feisty today. There's a lot of people. No, never mind. Not gonna finish that sentence. Not feisty. I feel that sometimes people make great points on like what could be better in the world of StarCraft. The other day there was a Reddit thread about, uh, let's say, like, should Clan participate in stuff like the weekly tournament, you know, yada yada yada. And then I wrote out a very long uh, comment on like how it's not that simple and how it's complicated. Because sometimes I think people look at StarCraft the same way as you would look at NBA stars or NFL stars, right, where they're making millions. And then the top guys shouldn't battle over the tiny stuff. It's like, that's not really the case. Like, you have kids that have dedicated seven, eight, nine years of their life trying to get good in this game. And some of them are obviously doing really well right now. But this is not a forever thing. Like, no game lasts forever, I think, at least. Not in this era. So obviously, they're going to make the best of their time. That they're the best. And on top of that, even if a lot of people say, like, oh, I want to see different players. If you then have different players, smaller players, People tune out. They are less interested. So it's like a double-edged sword where it's like, sure, we want to give love to the lesser top pros, but then people are not really watching or they're not invested in the same way as they are in the big-name players. And B, how can you hate on the top guys playing in quote-unquote small tournaments when they don't make that much money to begin with? Like, they obviously make good money, some of them. But it, it, it's not like anybody in StarCraft is rich enough that a couple hundred bucks doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it means something to your streamers. It means something to your players. So, of course you're gonna see top players play in quote unquote smaller tournaments. Cause it's not like they're raking in millions every month. To counter that, I see 1.2k people watching Archon Spiller. Yes, and I do my absolute best for that shy guy. Like, I've done this for 70 Fridays in a row. I'm trying to get people excited over these players. And on top of that, we did start off with Rain and Clem, right? It, it is just, it's just a fact. Like, I could have Clem against Max Pex tonight for the 27th time. As Gem once more, by the way, is moving out. Let's go at it. Ay, 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 Akron. There's never a chill moment with Akron. <laughs> Our boy with five Rexes. Five Rexes, Marines, Marauders, and SCVs. And he just sends it and Gem moved out. With his roaches, and those roaches is in a very awkward spot, but he did have many roaches, to be fair. I love the SCVs are falling, some of the SCVs had enough, they go home. That, that, that was a fight, guys. That really was a fight. Now, Chem is looking better this game than he did in the previous game. There are no Hellions to worry about, the Marauders are running low there. Marauders are running low. And Aquarold with his fight. <laughs> Aquarold is so wild, man. Two Rex Reaper into an expand has a perfectly fine start and he builds three more Rexes and he just pulls the boys. <laughs> Ay caramba. This time, since Chem did not make Zergling speed and Chem did not go up to six speed runs, he apparently had enough. I want to say I don't know if we should be here, but maybe we should. That's a lot of roaches. The roaches are doing good. Marauders are running a little bit low. In the final Marauders, at least on the top left side, will fall. Reinforcements are arriving. What is happening between these two guys? This is the equivalent of the gloves are rough and we are swinging for the fences. We're just trying to knock each other out. This has became some down and dirty, very messy starcraft. <laughs> it's a death match, yeah. Uh, I know press users and like once more whenever somebody makes a statement There's always someone who wants to go against the statement and be like But I for one is like yes, of course so many people out there that enjoy Starcraft and people are gonna enjoy different things But certain things are a fact and I can have an absolute barn burner of a series between let's say Fiont and Name it random Terran around Fiont's level Battle B for instance doesn't matter and it's gonna be okay. But if after that I do Clem against Max Pax for the 27th time in the last three months, people are still way more interested in Clem Max Pax. Because they care about the best players, they care about the bigger names. And then there are always direct circumstances like, no, I, I love the slightly lesser 
MMOR games, even though those guys are very good, those games are amazing. It's like, yeah, it goes both ways. There are a lot of people who gladly are very happy about it, enjoy that kind of StarCraft. And it doesn't always have to be top five in the world or bust. But it's also still a fact that the bigger names, they just perform better. They do it better on YouTube and they do it better on Twitch. So it's, it's tricky where even if you say like, oh, I want to see tournaments with different players. It's like, well, okay, you eliminate Clem. Then what? Max Pax wins everything, right? Assuming that Sarah, Rainer, Mara, etc. don't play. But yeah, but I don't want to see Max Pax either. It's like, okay, fine then. Dark wins everything. Yeah, but no Dark. Then Beyond wins. It's like, you just go down the list. There's always a next guy that's going to start winning a lot. StarCraft 2 is an incredibly complicated game where the skill levels are just very defined until somebody makes that very impressive, significant jump like Max Pax did. We want to copy. Yeah, but that's your opinion, for instance, Borm the Abuser, but I can guarantee you that out of the thousand people that are listening to me right now, 800 of them, they don't even play. So you might be watching because you want to copy Clam or Max Pax, but you are a vast minority. I can guarantee you that. Most people that watch StarCraft don't actually play. Like, so you can say that I, you watch for that reason. That's perfectly fine, but not we. There is no we there. That's actually a crazy amount of buy over here that Chem has. And Chem is, excuse me, that Octolon has. And Chem is going to have a very difficult time battling with this as he's got a whole bunch of slow circlings, guys. Now, obviously, slow circlings can still morph into banings. But Chem on 71 drones. Maybe underestimated the amount of buy units that Aquaman could show up with. My boy, Ruben. Old Team Ruddy player and member of the Platinum Heroes at least was for a long time. He's really battling it, but is there any room to run for these Marines? There is not. I think this was the wrong corner to walk into. If he would have microed back down this ramp, I think it would have gone slightly better. But now we are just left in the, the craziest and messiest scenario. Machem is on 50 drones, Akron is on 43 SCVs, is floating over the main. We truly are gaming. Arkantos says so bad, Chem. I, I think it's okay. He's on high tech. Maybe he got a bit carried away. I think Chem is still fine. I will. Then I have the tiny voice in the back of my head. It's like, is he though? It's like, ah, is he though? I don't know. I think he is. But is he though? We're about to find out. We have an investor on the way. We have Vipers on the way. Viper pops. Viper gets sniped immediately. That's a painful loss when we are kind of broke. Manifex working overtime though. Not a lot of healing left. <laughs> Bly has played in the big green belts. A couple times. The last time that I invited Bly, I think he played against Cuckoo. And he lost 3-0. The games were fun. It definitely had Bly moments, but... Yeah, actually really fun games. Just a, just a fun best of five. Even if it was 3-0, the games were really cool. Thank you, Sazamas, for the 31 months with Prime. Let the viewers vote for the next big win bouts. That is a perfectly fine idea, Maples, in a world where everybody is always down to play the big win bouts. But I think a lot of people have underestimated the amount of hours that I've spent in my life DMing players, asking if they want to play and they don't want to play. Or they're taking a break, or just unavailable, right? Sometimes they want to play, but they're unavailable. So, even if that sounds really fun, I can't do that. But then everybody votes, I'm like, Sarah versus Max Pax! And then neither of them wants to play, and I'm like, well... You guys wanted Sarah Max Pax, I couldn't do it, but I got Pi versus Coco. <laughs> and people are like, what the fuck, Roddy? Get out of here! <laughs> like, that's not what I asked for. <laughs> I was like, hey guys, Pi Coco is a banger, alright? Lynx, Banes, Infestors, and Vipers, Fungals, Parasitic Bombs. Look at this StarCraft, guys. It is messy. It's got down and dirty. I think in the end, our Mexican Zergi chat. I want to say he's going to tie things up, but every time I want to say it, he's losing a Viper, he's losing a main, he's losing a fight, whatever. I still believe this is where Chem shines. Look at these upgrades, guys. Plus one melee, plus one missile attacks, plus two carapace. It's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything is good enough. Cham takes it a one to one. That means game three will be played on the European server. Go, go, EU. No three zeros yet. I'm having a great time tonight. Even if I understand a lot of some of the negative complaints and, you know, some people saying like, oh, I'm tired of this map pool. I'm tired of this patch. I get all of it. 
but it doesn't mean that we still can't have a good time with what we currently have and i think that these games have actually been really fun tonight and last week uh, more often than not it doesn't happen often that we have a friday where i sit here and be like well today kind of sucked guys and it's not because i'm afraid to say that it's not that i am sitting here and i'm like oh really but you're forced to hype up everything right it's all fake it's like no if it is very mediocre or bad then i can say that like it happens i very often make the comparison to uh, real life sports where i'm like well i love football but a zero zero with very few attacks absolutely sucks i love f1 but singapore was boring right starcraft can be boring too it's okay it's such a weird idea that everything always has to be amazing or always has to be hype it's like no it's if it's legitimate entertainment sport and there is real competition sometimes it's awesome sometimes it's not i have akron on my uh, friend list but tonight has been good last night has or last week was good or the week before rather doctor says they get a date at least about what, what kind of date mate date for patch and the maps no i don't know Ooh, look at this oh european server game three guys and akron says i'm gonna play random so his terran guys is good his protos is damn good like 5800 mmr his zerk i want to say is weak but he did beat eva in that game five Hello, Dr. Kidos. Thank you so much, mate. And I'm not your buddy, Paul. Thank you as well. Hello, Aegis. What's he gonna get, guys? I feel like we're gonna get Protoss. Protoss. It's Zerg, it's Zerg. I, I, caramba. A hundred buckies on the line. And the man says, I'll pick random for this one. And he gets Zerg. No, little Twitch. This is a best of five. And that means that the first to three wins. Round three. Oh my god, I love Ak Akron is so fun, man. What a, what a kid. I love kid. I love Ribbon. Let's do it. Top left side. The man says on the European server, I'll play random. And he hits us with the 12 11. This is our Spanish Terran. Now Zerk. Akron. The bottom right side of Oceanborn. We are looking at the main base of the Mexican Zergi who just responded. Oh, it's Jam. Thank you to Junsi for gifting a subby to Tricolord Capacitor. Right. That's, a, that's an odd name. Oh, poor Champ, guys. Champ doesn't know how it's playing ZVZ. Now, I'm not a mega expert in ZVZ cheese, but how bad is this for Champ? I think it all comes down to, like, when do we drop the pool, right? Or is any situation... Okay, he goes pool first. He goes pool before gas. So that is something. But this still feels incredibly rough. <laughs> Obviously, Akron is gonna play this one with heart and commitment. He's still leaving two drones on the gas, so it's not just Link Speed, it's a Link Bane all in. We've gone back to Wings of Liberty. One base, Link Bane all in. And we are following the camera of Champ. Champ right now is just wondering, he's like, ah, I wonder what he got. I'm sure he's lucky, right? He got Terran or something. They always could play random and then they get their main race. It's gonna be annoying overlord is going to see another overlord Cham apparently doesn't even look at the minimap he knows what that big fat square is now how is Cham going to defend queen queen and a lot of links here are the first links already of akron this is gonna be hard now against this build you want to get a spine in your main as quickly as possible he's gonna get a baneling mess that, that might be a good play but it might actually be too late already I almost think that the spine is a better play than the bailing nest, but okay, he's gonna get the spine as well, but it's a little bit late. Oh, a couple of the Zerglings of Champ, they get trapped immediately. Akron Zerg has a 100% win record on the Friday night. Back then in game 5 against Eva. He's fighting more links, link speed is done. He's gonna get almost all these Zerglings. Obviously, we need more than just a couple links. He needs to get the hatch and ideally needs to get a bunch of drones in the main. The Zerglings of Akron are absolutely cooking. He's killed 12 links in the queen. He's gonna kill the hatch and then we go for the main. He's gonna avoid the brute links. And now we go for the main. The first bane links are here. Now, Cham is also building his own first bane links. And Cham does have a five worker lead. I wanna say the SimCity looks very good. 
So far, so good for Akron. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna trade. Yeah. We trade two for one. That's not great on the side of Akron. This is maybe where champ with always experience in ZVZ can make the difference. Extra baning show up for both players. Everything dies, but that favors champ. Everything dying favors champ because champ has a five worker lead. He's got a spine. Champ holds for now. <laughs> Ay caramba. Ay caramba. Maybe Akron should have just gone quicker for the main. Huh? He killed so many Zerglings and he killed the queen early on. To me, it kind of felt that he could have gone for it. This is not going to work. Okay, somehow we get through and we get a tiny bit of a surround on the queen, but Akron does not want to commit. Now the one big advantage that Akron has, that Chem does not, is Zergling speed. I don't know if this is enough links to force a cancel. And I don't think so. We got two more links showing up. Oh, Akron really wants that cancel. Akron gets it. Okay, that's something. Well, now it's 18 workers against 19. Hatch halfway done. Link speed versus no link speed. How is Akron such a gamer? How is Akron? Such a gamer. Unless I'm missing something that's incredibly obvious now. I'd say it looks really good for Akron, no? Chem has got 200 gas. Yeah, he does. What are you gonna do with all that gas, mate? <laughs> Two base lair. The thing is, if Akron plays a very defensive game, which he might, because he doesn't have link speed, uh, he goes for roaches. Aye. There is a chance though, that Akron is going to be a greedy boy and hit us with that Amura Ling. And Akron, since he's not a real Zerg, he's got no fear and he's just going to send it. Huh. Akron, win please. It is a best of five, mate. It is a best of five, but I do not need to hear about your degenerate activities. Because I have the feeling you're not talking about Twitch channel points. <laughs> Anyone could win. It's a close series. <laughs> could be Cham, it could be Akron. Cham knows that if he wins, there's a good chance that we'll invite him again and again. Ooh, he's gonna send it, guys. <sighs> no need to worry. I assume that you're not a regular Stalker fan, but I am aware that that's a thing, but I don't need to hear about it. It's been a fun best of five between these guys. Chem is going to go for it, guys. With Zergling speed, 70% done. The roaches are out. And Akron, since he's too pacing, he's getting his own spine. Might be great. This is kind of where a scout is mandatory for Akron. Oh, no, he's even bringing the spine. He's even bringing the spine. Now, Akron can immediately build more spines now. I would say go wild here. Go wild, go wild. The more, the merrier. No, more. More. This is risky. He needs roaches too, obviously. More! Alright. Can he hold? I mean, it's 50 army supply against 20, uh, 12. Ah, uh, this would be the hold of the ages, no? Is there a world where he holds this, guys? Ah, uh, Queen, French Fuse will buy a tiny bit of time. Obviously, Chem doesn't know what we know, so Chem doesn't know that it's just go, 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 go time as the Bainings lead the charge at 1 4 HP spine gets taken out immediately. Chem is here with a lot of Zerg and Akron cannot hold. A little bit too greedy. In the end, Chem takes the 2-1 lead. Wins the game on the European server. And that means that we're going to go to game four. Back on the American server. Chem 2, Akron 1, but it is a best of a 5. I mean, I feel like if we... I don't know. I also think a full wall off is probably better there. Instead of having your queens as part of the wall off, I think you just drop an Evo Chamber so the Evo Chamber can soak up some shots. Uh, probably has a lot of HP by the time that the army arrives. And then it's more likely that more of your spines are done. I also think you want to space out your spines a little bit more. Akron, please do not go random. But the thing is with Akron is that he does honestly have a lot of skills with all three races. And he has shown it before. He sometimes picked protos in one day tournaments as well. Like him playing random is not like, oh, I'm having fun and I think I'm going to win anyway. It's just like he legitimately has an edge by playing random. 
because his opponent, especially Cham, who's a man with a lot of set build orders, doesn't really know how he should open, and Akron can be very abusive. And as you guys can see with his Terran, he's a very extreme man with a lot of hard hitting builds that can obviously end games the first move out. He can do that with Protoss, he can do that with Zerg, he can do that with Terran. But he has picked Terran. This is not random. He has picked Terran here in game four. Round four. Fight. Did he have space on the creep for another Evo? I think we can always get something, no? Whether it's an Evo or a Spine, whatever. It is game four. He is down one, two, and he's sending out the boys. Never a boring series with Akron. We can say that much. Hailing from Spain. A pretty decent record, I think, in the big brain bouts. At least the victory over Iba. This is Aquaron. All team ruddy. And I believe previous member of the Platinum Heroes. Does the Platinum Heroes even still exist, guys? Did they let everybody go or did they just let, like, six guys go or something? I feel like some of the players are still on the team, but so many of them left. Obviously, it's a little bit sad. Top left side of site uh, Delta. We are looking at the main base of our Mexican Zerg. Once more, up 2-1. to one. He is loving those big rain bouts. And that's a good thing, because we are loving him. Our Mexican Zerg. It's Jim. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Captain Vog is not all for it. Thank you, friendly uncle. Who could have ever thought, guys, that better lighting would have been complimentary to 37-year-old Roddy? Look at me. Hashtag... Absolutely still got it. <laughs> so Akron is going for not one but two Rex proxy here. But a gas. So we're gonna build Marines. We're gonna try to get a bunker up. But there is a trend. This is not the proxy three Rex, no gas, Omega all in. Proxy two Rex. Ooh, I love this SCV by the way. It's like, hey, don't worry, just a regular SCV, regular scout. Just making sure everything is standard over here. Cham sends his first drone down, sees a bunker coming, sees all the bunkers coming. Imi actually had all the drones pulled already, man, he did that quick. I guess his spidey senses were tingling, he expected something was just not quite right over here, but this is still difficult, these marines are having a good old time. Getting a lot of shots up, oh, the marine count is a little bit low, once you have four marines it is very easy to kite for days. The drones are going so deep, the first Zerglings are out, it's a lot of drones falling. But if the bunkers don't finish up, it is not that bad, but one bunker is done. And that second bunker is probably gonna finish up as well, the SCV is gonna get a couple of hits up. Oh, but he, no! Cham with the block! Oh my goodness, Akron! He got his game-winning goggles on there, and he's like, I'm just gonna put those boys inside of this bunker immediately. Aye, aye, aye. Akron really, really, really wanted to get those marines into that bunker. Well, I think if he would have just aimed, he would have actually killed a lot of those links quickly, a lot of the drones quickly. <sighs> now it's looking bad. It is looking bad for our Spanish Terran. As Champ pulled off a pretty good hold. I think if we just fight here, guys, like, then there's a good chance that Champ moves his units anyway, and then the marines can hop into the bunker. Sure, that spine was coming online, but. No, Akron is just in so much trouble. He's got nothing. Akron's got a zero DPS as we speak. Well, I mean, he's got SCVs, right? But not a single Marine. Not a single Reaper. And the problem is that you have to complete this command center. But every time an SCV goes to this side, it's going to die. I think it's game over. I, uh, I don't really see a way, unfortunately. Champ! Says no, Roddy. It's not gonna be all three twos tonight. Maybe this command center will finish up and there's a tiny chance. Of oh, Akron. That marine right click into the bunker was big. Starcraft 2 is a brutal game. And for even a full second, if your units are not fighting and your opponents are attacking your units, it can be over immediately. Maybe it would have gone Chems anyway. I'm not saying that, like, Akron had it and that one mistake costed him. But by trying to click into this bunker rather than just fight, we lost everything. We lost our momentum. We lost our units. We basically lost it all. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have a bit of spice follow-up. Now, I have seen a game once upon a time that used to hurt incredibly much to even think back of. 
I'm talking about Clem versus Cerro on Equilibrium. Where we had a filled proxy Turax. And Clem still won a little bit later. That Cyclone was different though. That was the low HP Cyclone that would fire very quickly. This Cyclone is different. But I would have sworn that that game was over. And it wasn't. Clem won. And in the end Team Liquid back then beat us in the WTL Code S. Thank the Lord that is uh, a historic event that I can now look back at and have more peace with. After we won the most recent season of the WTL Code S. Because for a long time that hurt on Equilibrium really did, uh, that loss on Equilibrium really did hurt. Now that was with different Cyclones though. Those Cyclones built quicker, they were cheaper, they dealt crazy damage. Don't really see this go anywhere for uh, Akron. After Etherworld, where we just get the turn, gets the queen, gets a couple drones. Maybe get one more drone, get the third, and just go home and get ready for Midas. And the game still looks incredibly bad for Akron, don't get me wrong. But getting this hatch and a couple drones and a queen is pretty sick, not gonna lie. <laughs> Loki, go that move! <laughs> All the slow zerglings get scouted as well in the center by the cyclone and the bench. I feel like if you're Aquam now, you have to know that this is Mudas, though, right, guys? Isn't this always Mudas? What else could it be? 35 zerglings. Zergling speed now done, by the way, and that means that Akron is in danger. Of losing a lot of SCVs, the links get into the main base as well. Good luck getting your slow marines back in time. Jim says, you can have my third. I'm gonna get your SCVs. This is very bad. Just when there was a little bit of hope for Akron. He loses 11 SCVs as a two base Terran. First meters are out. I mean, we do have 16 marines. But we're not gonna have Stim. Is Akron gonna try to win this game, guys, with Marine? Cyclone Banshee? Two Starport Banshee? Did he think it was Roaches? I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, it does have cloaking. Do we have a spore? Yes. Why do we have two Starport Banshee of 20 something SCVs? Now the Mutas are on the other side of the map. Akron just needs to go, go, go. He sees the Queens, he sees the Muta. He needs to go. Can this Terran army win? Is there a world? I want to say there is a world. I don't know if it's this one. But there might be a world. Chem is killing a lot on the other side of the map, but he needs to kill this army. And he's actually losing a lot of his links. He's losing his spine. Obviously, Clem, uh, Chem is going to have more reinforcements, and Chem can pull the drones. And is the drone pool going to make the difference? All the SCVs in the main are dead. A tiny bit of hope for Akron. He is going to corner this entire army, though, guys. It's kind of sick, to be fair. He's going to kill drones. He's going to kill the final four queens. It, I want to say there's no way. Zero SCV Terran. Zero SCV Terran has taken out everything in the natural. How many links remain? Ten links. We need to bring these Mudas back. Akron needs to force the fight against the drones and Mudas and links before those reinforcements are back. There is a spore crawler that's gonna buy some time. If Jem cleans up this army, he wins the game. If he takes the fight and he loses, well, then it's obviously over. Oh, the Benchies are all by themselves. Cloak, 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 cloak. Why don't you cloak? But the links are dying. Not quick enough, and that is it. Chem wins. GG, congratulations. Why didn't he cloak? Why didn't he cloak? Cloaking would have been honestly kind of big there. Oh my caramba. Nine minutes. It is Chem, guys. 3 2 1. Mexican Zergi Chem gets the dub over Aquaron. And that will do it for our third series of the night. Well done by Chem. Back-to-back -back wins for Chem in the big rainbows. Akron entertaining and fun as always, but could not uh, get the dub. And that means we're going to get ready for our main event. Oh, proper 50-50. Means that I did a good job. If you guys don't know, I did good. Chem wins. One final series. The main event of the big rainbows, number 70. Mixu versus Shameless, best of five. BBB main event. Number 70. For the first time ever, Mixu is playing in the main event. If he wins, he gets 150 bucks. He's going to have to take out uh, this man, the young Russian from Novosibirsk. 
Exciting Protoss, his second main event. I'm a big fan. Shameless. I love Mixu. I love Shameless. Been looking forward to this series all day long. You only mean that. I just love these two up and coming players that have both a unique and different story. Duking it out, and I think it's mega close between these guys. So, and they're obviously both very good. They're fun, they're exciting, they're good. This is going to be awesome. Couple minutes, then I'm ready for Mixu versus Shameless. I'll see you guys soon. Big shout out to Akron and Chen, by the way. Very fun series. Enjoyed it. We're doing our best, and I enjoyed it. <laughs>